morning. This is Paul Harris for Kitco News at the PDAC in Toronto, Canada. The start of day two, and I'm a pleasure to be joined this morning by Amar Al Jundi, president of Agnico Mines. Good morning. Good morning, Paul. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Um, last week was um, a, a real shock uh, for the for the gold sector, yeah. the precious metal sector. Um, what, why? What, what's your the company's uh, view on, on what happened? Is that going to be a temporary blip, or is that really going to change plans? Or how do you view well, things? Well, it. it it won't change plans for Agnico Eagle. We've got a, a very good strategy. We've got a very good plan. We came off uh, record production, record cash flow per share, good growth. It's not going to change our plan. Now, I've been in this business for 20 years, and you get this type of volatility. It's not surprising, given what's going on globally. But what I will say is, in 20 years uh, of being in this business, I've never been more bullish, positive on the gold price. Okay, excellent. Um, you mentioned you had record production in 2019, but um, when you published your annual results, the, the stock sold off quite sharply. Um, why do you think that was? Well, I think that uh, we're bringing on two big mines in Nunavut, and uh, anytime you bring on a new mine, uh, there's a little bit of teething, and we were going through it. Okay. That said, Meliodine, one of the mines, actually had a, had a pretty fantastic fourth quarter. Uh, we've actually accelerated some of that mine. Uh, we had uh, one issue with an apron feeder that is going to affect first quarter production, but our expectation actually is that those repairs will be done by the end of next week. Okay. And so that'll be behind us. Okay. And your, your product, um, forecasting production growth of 18% through 2022, but uh, I believe the, the, the cash cost is going to increase as well. Um, well what's that going to do to the sort of profitability and margin of the companies going forward? Well, we have... Uh, our, our profitability and margins are, are, are going to increase uh, quite a bit over the next few years. To put this into perspective, Agnico Eagle over the last 20 years, on a per share basis, and that's all that really matters is per share, we've grown production compounded by about 4% annually every year. And what we're saying is we're going to be able to continue to do that, in fact 18% over the next three years, on a per share basis. Uh, so we are continuing to grow, we're bringing in new mines, we're bringing in higher grade mines, we're actually operating at about 20% below reserve grade versus the industry operating at 20% above reserve grade. So uh, all things being equal, we actually have a, a cost advantage in that we're going to higher grade. We had some higher costs uh, for the first quarter this year, uh, but frankly that's associated 100% of it uh, with uh, our newest mine, Amarok. It only went into production uh, in the fourth quarter of 2019. If you take that out, Paul, our actual cash costs were $650 an ounce, which is what they'd been historically uh, and, and one of the lowest in the industry. Okay, thank you. Um, Barrick and Newmont seem to be uh, trying to raise the bar for senior gold producers, uh, increasing dividend policy, those kind of things. Um, to what extent do you think they are changing the competitive landscape for senior gold producers? I think we are very supportive of, of what they're doing. Um, Newmont and Barrick, we know them both well. They are leaders in the industry. Uh, and our issue in this industry is over the past 15 years, the industry has not delivered the types of returns uh, that the market needs. Agnico has done quite well, but uh, overall the industry hasn't performed. And we're moving from more resource investors to generalist investors. And the size of the generalist investor market relative to the gold market is almost unlimited. So our view is that when leaders of the industry, including Newmont and Barrick, are performing well, that's good for all of us because the generalists now take our business more seriously. So, so we're quite supportive of what they're doing. Okay. Agnico has quite a, a robust organic growth pipeline. Yes. So what, what's the investment plan? How do you see the investment plan over the next sort of three to five years? Where, where's growth and growth in, in profitability going to come from for the company? Well, that's an excellent question. We've really uh, invested a lot over the last uh, two or three years in our new Nunavut platform. About, about a billion to a billion three. And uh, going forward, we have a, quite a substantial uh, organic pipeline, but we're going to pace it out. Uh, last year and the year before were our biggest capital spend years. So while we're going to continue to grow, we talked about 18% over the next three years on a per share basis, uh, that's going to be based on measured capital investment. We're, we're really going to uh, 
uh, do it in a much more moderate uh, fashion going forward. Okay, and, and so finally, we're, we're here at the PDAC, yes. the world's largest exploration conference, and Agnico over the years has made um, uh, several, many strategic investments in juniors, and, and recently in February you made another one. Um, is that policy going to continue, that strategy going to continue? What are you hoping to achieve with that strategy? And given the, the price falls last week, are you looking to deploy more capital in that way? Absolutely that strategy will continue. This is a strategy we've been using for decades. Uh, we like to say um, get in early uh, uh, and, and you make money through the drill bit. And, and that's what we found to be successful again over decades. There are a lot of excellent juniors out there. They're struggling right now to have access to capital. What I will say is uh, I think we have a very good reputation with these juniors. They like talking with us and um, uh, we're more than happy uh, on a focused basis uh, to talk to them and try to help support them uh, to create a, a pipeline in the regions where we operate. Okay. Are you here with a shopping list? Um, we've always got our eye on a number of things. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much for uh, joining me this morning. Okay. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned to kitco.com for more from the PDAC conference in Toronto.